You tired. Are you tired? Good evening, teacher. Good How are you? Evening. How are you today? Um, very very tired, but I'm okay, and I think that you are tired too. I I'm guess. Okay. I'm tired. I I guess it is. Because tired. today is Friday, and we had a lot of things to do during the week. So it's so, Friday. It's Friday. Y el cuerpo lo sabe. Ah, sí, yes, of course. <laughs> <risa> es que este, este día es sábado chiquito la mayoría aquí cabe decir de que no es el lunes el que, el que la, ni las gallinas ponen sino que viernes sí. el día viernes nadie quiere hacer nada ya así como que ni modo solo porque hay que hacerle ya el cuerpo ya no quiere para el viernes <risa> no, te pero, ahí estamos, por ahí. pero ahí estamos Valeli al pie del cañón Valeli <risa> ok no, es, eh, una compañera, la compañera de trabajo me dice que, que todos los compañeros de ella ella está también en support eh, sacando el curso de inglés y me dice que todos los compañeros de ella preguntando mire y, y va a haber ayer, el día de ayer eh, preguntando y mire y va a haber clase ahora este, que no, el gobierno dijo que suspendían las clases, que no sé qué la mara <risa> de plano ahora gana la mara <risa> O sea, fue como algo, uh, sí nos sorprendió cuando, cuando dijeron que iban a suspender las clases, pero obviamente sabíamos que no aplicaba para, para ese tipo de cursos. Pero claro. nosotros eh, en, en los colegios como nos quedamos pero, y le digo y, y le digo a la compañera, en cambio nosotros la mayoría diciendo, teacher, mañana tenemos clases porque tenemos que reponer la, la, la que perdimos. O sea, bien aplicado nosotros. Claro, sí, por supuesto. No. <risa> pero incluso pero nosotros que, que se suspendieron clases, pero fueron eh, las presenciales porque eh, virtuales presenciales, full todo el día. Todo. Solo presenciales, las virtuales veces, sí se dieron. Uh -huh. A veces el problema por las lluvias es la, la, la conexión, que de repente hay, hay bajones de energía o, o mala conexión. Sí. Sí, pero como en este caso nos tocó, pues, cada quien en su zona, o sea, en, en casa, nos tocó ver cómo hacíamos para que nuestros estudiantes, pues, estuvieran conectados todo el día. Porque sí nos tocó de 7 a 5 estar con las clases con nuestros chicos, pero algunos no se conectaron, así como, como en, la, en las clases de ahora, ¿verdad? Que van a haber varios que no se van a poder conectar. Pero ahí estuvimos también. No, no fue como que, sí, se cancelaron y ya está, nadie se va a conectar, sino que... Eh, también tuvimos que, que trabajar, Mira. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. So, after a long week, very because good. this one was a very, very long week because we have five days um, of this uh, course because uh, we have some changes in the schedule. Finally, we are in the last day of this week and also in the last day of the week number three. So, After that, uh, or after this session, we are just going to have four more days on the next week, and we are going to end all the course. So we are almost, almost done with all the topics that we have for this course. So we are going to begin with the topic that we are going to develop today. And it's not like a very heavy topic or complicated topic because it's related to the how questions. Yesterday, when we were like uh, solving some uh, problems with the platform, I was saying that we are going to see this topic today. We are going to see uh, how to create questions with how, and also we are going to see some uh, complements that we can use with the how, because it is not like you are going to, to ask how is your day, for example. In this case, we are going to see which other words we can use with how and what are the uses that we can give to those questions. And at the end, I have like uh, different questions that we can call it this discussion questions with how. And in this case, we can use these questions when you are talking with someone or you can use it in a meeting. 
So um, they are like questions in which you can express your ideas, but we are going to see it at the end. But first, to begin with this topic, we are going to have like a little review. Ah, don't worry, Brigitte. If you have a problem with the connection, you can see the, the video later. So don't worry. We're done. Okay, I was saying that we are going to see like um, a review of the questions because I know that you, you know, I know that you know the WH questions or the WH words because they are very, very used in English. But we are going to see like a review of the word, the WH word, the function of that WH word, and we are going to see an example. But it's not going to be like very long explanation about the WH words or the WH questions because it's just a review. And in this case, we are going to talk about what, what for, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why, why don't, how, and also we are going to see some examples of how plus adjective or adverb, how far, how long, how many, how much, how old, and how come that is informal. But in that case, it's just a short review of those uh, uh, words. And then we are going to have the explanation of the how, that is the, the thing that we need to know about the questions with how. So for the first thing, we are going to have like um, examples of the WH words. And then we are going to begin with the topic. So in this case, maybe you are not going to hear me clearly because you know that I have problems with the audio. So I'm going to uh, write the examples and then I'm going to read it. So we are going to have like that uh, a specific time. First, I'm going to write, then I'm going to explain, and then we are going to begin with all the that topic of the how. So we are going to start with the review. Teacher, a topic is, uh, you said, uh, WH word. No, it's questions with how, but uh, first we are going to have the review. Then we are going to explain uh, the questions with how. So the topic is questions with how. Okay, thank you.
So we have the first uh, question word that is what. It is very, very common to use this word or this kind of questions. And we have two functions for this. The number one is asking for information about something or asking for repetition or confirmation. And we have the example. For the first um, function, we have, what is your name? That is a very uh, common question that we can use. What is your name? And for asking for repetition or confirmation, we have, what? I can hear you. Or you did what? Así que tenemos dos funciones. Primero, uh, preguntar por información acerca de algo o para repetición y confirmación. Como en español, ¿qué? ¿Qué dijiste? O, ¿qué okay, tú hiciste? ¿Qué? So in that case, we have like two functions for the same word. Then we have another one that is what for. So we have the first part of this uh, WH questions or uh, question words. So then we have what for, and in this case, it's like asking for a reason or asking why. We can use this um, form to asking why too. And we have the example, what did you do? And in that case is what did you do that? So we can use both. Then when we are asking about time, asking about time and we have, when did he leave? Where is for asking in or at what place or position? 
where do they live? Which is asking about a choice when we have two or more things and we need to choose one of them. Which color do you want? Who asking what or which person or people in this case is talking about subject who opened the door? And whom is for asking what or which person or people but functioning as an object. And we have the example, whom did you see? Then we have who's, why, why don't, and then we are going to begin with the how, but just the examples of how. So um, after to, to see the how questions or the how examples, we have who's that is uh, talking or asking about ownership and we have the, question, the examples. Whose are these keys? Whose turn is it? Then we have why asking for a reason or asking what for. So at the beginning we have what a for that is functioning as why and in this case, we have why that is also functioning as asking what for. And we have the example, why do you say that? And then we have why don't. And in this case is for making a suggestion. Why don't I help you? So in that case, we are making suggestion when we are using why don't in question. So now we are going to see how and other um, we can say other words that we can use with how to express different things. So we are going to see what are those words and then we are going to talk about more about them. But now we are going to see some examples about how and um, adjectives or how far and some like this. Because in that case, we are going to use adjectives of adverbs to express different things. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, yo tengo ese documento de Drive, pero me, me, me actualiza hasta la página 20 nada más. Y yo veo que a usted le salen 34 páginas. Mm. No sé si no, no se ha actualizado. Mm. Lo voy a volver a mandar. Porque tal vez... Eh, tenga algún problema, no sé si a los demás igual han tratado de entrar y no les aparece. Pero sí lo voy a volver a mandar hoy, que termine la sesión, les voy a mandar el enlace para que ya vean todas las páginas completas. 
Sí, porque a mí solo me aparece hasta la página 20. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así que sí, lo voy a volver a mandar porque tal vez no se ha actualizado o alguna otra cosa ha pasado, porque a veces sucede que no aparecen todas las, las páginas, pero lo voy a volver a mandar al final porque ya agregué también eh, lo que hice, bueno, lo que hice en los otros documentos ya está también acá, así que lo voy a volver a mandar. Ok, thank you. In general terms, we have how in this case, and this is just the general word, and we can use it for asking about manner or asking about condition and quality. And we have two examples. How does this work and how was your exam? But we are going to see like different ways in which we can use this uh, word how And we can use it with adjectives and with adverbs. And every one of these uh, categories of how questions or um, how words with adjective or adverb, it's going to function for a specific thing. Tenemos um, el how que en términos generales lo podemos decir que nos habla sobre eh, preguntar acerca de, un, de cómo funciona algo de una manera, de una condición, de una cualidad. Pero si lo utilizamos, el how, con adjetivos y con adverbios, nos va a dar otra función. Tenemos one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six different uh, questions with how and adjective and adverbs. And we are going to see What are the uses that we can give to those questions? Vamos a ver cuáles son los usos que se le da dependiendo del adjetivo y del adverbio que le agreguemos a la pregunta, en este caso con el how. So we are going to see the examples and then we are going to make a deep research on how.
Okay, here we have the examples of the different kind of questions with how and adjectives and adverbs. And we can see the number one is how far. And this one is talking about distance. And we have the example, how far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Then we have number two, how long? And in this case, we are talking about length, time or space. And we have the question, how long will it take? In this case, it's talking about time. Then we have number three, how many? In this case, we are talking about quantity, but just for countable nouns. And we have the example, how many cars are there? Then we have how much that is talking about quantity, but in this case is uncountable nouns. And we have the question, how much money do you have? Number five, how old? And in this case, we are talking about age. How old are you? And in the last one, how come that is informal is asking for a reason, asking why, and we have another a way to ask why or asking for a reason because we have what for, why, and how come. And we have the example, how come I can see her? So we see that we have different kind of words that we can add to the how a question and we can make like a very specific information that we can um, ask when we have these kind of things. Tenemos diferentes eh, o diferentes tipos de información que podemos nosotros um, preguntar cuando estamos utilizando adjetivos y adverbios y en el, el how es como el que nos permite tener más esa libertad de eh, cambiar un significado mediante la palabra que estemos utilizando. So it's very, we can say like, uh, it's muy versatile, this uh, kind of question. But now we are going to um, see the different uses that we can give for the how, because we have like a very long research about uh, that uh, topic. So we are going to begin with this part and it says, how is a very useful word and since questions with how are a big part of common conversation, we are going to see uh, all the information that we have for the how questions. And also it says that how can be used with other words to make different type of a question. And we have the examples like the ones that we have on the table. How far, how long, how much, how many, and beside those, how can be used with adjectives to make questions? For example, how confident are you? How easy is it? How difficult do you think is, is this? Así que no simplemente vamos a utilizar lo que son los adverbios para hacer preguntas con how, sino que también podemos utilizar los adjetivos. Cuando utilizamos los adjetivos nos salen preguntas como esa de how confident are you? ¿Qué tan seguro estás de ti mismo? How easy is it? ¿Qué tan fácil estaba esto? ¿Qué tan fácil estaba el examen? So, how is not like we are going to have it or we are going to use it just for one thing. In this case, we can use it for a lot of things and it's like very, very useful because we are going to use it with the different words and we can make a different meaning. So before we can see the different type of question that we have with how, we need to remember that we can also use the word how to make negative and affirmative sentence. Uh, always with the other um, kind of question we can do negative and a positive affirmation or, or in this case negative and positive question so with how we also can have this kind of a negative and positive questions so we are going to divide the information and we are going to have like the different forms in which we can use the how and we are going to explain the use of that and some examples. Lo vamos a dividir, así como lo tenemos ahí, 
lo vamos a ir dividiendo para ver cuáles son las, eh, los usos y todo eso. Uh, don't worry, Cecilia. Don't worry. If you have problems with your um, connection, you can see the, the video later. So don't worry for that. Así que vamos a ir separándolos, viendo cómo los podemos utilizar y también viendo algunos ejemplos. Vamos a comenzar con el primero, que es how far. So we are going to see uh, what are the uses, some examples and some general information about this first thing. So we are going to begin with how far. So here we have the examples with this first uh, form of how, that is how uh, far. So as we were saying at the beginning, we say that in this case, we are going to use how far, um, or this one means what extent, distance or degree. And we have the examples. How far is the beach from here? How far can we walk? How far can she run? And how far can we travel into this forest? But also, it is just not for a question. We can use it for a affirmative or a negative sentence as we have in the other examples. And we have, I don't know how far the beach is from here. 
I am not sure about how far she can walk. And she knows how far we can walk into this forest. Así que tenemos preguntas y también tenemos um, oraciones afirmativas y negativas que podemos utilizar con el how far. Y es sobre la distancia, ¿verdad? O el degree. So in that case, we have that uh, part of the how far. And we are not like, have a lot of information related to each of these uses of how. We are just going to have uh, general information about the use of these ones. And also we are going to have like the example. So in that case, we are not going to have a lot, a lot of information because it is not like that. Now we are going to see the number two. We are going to have how long and the same thing. We are going to have some information and also we are going to see some examples of how long. Okay, for the number two, how long? We have like two uh, different meanings and the number one is the length and the duration. So in that case, we're going to use it for those two meanings. And we have some examples. I don't know how long the Amazon River is. Uh, she knows how long that film is. I am not sure how long that woman live in that house. How long is that piece of string? How long is the flight? How long did you live up there? And how long is the film? So, en este caso podemos hablar, ¿verdad? De, la, de lo largo de algo o de la duración de algo. Así que podemos utilizarlo para estas dos cosas. El how long. Así que ahí tenemos los dos meanings que se le pueden dar. Y de qué podemos hablar nosotros con el how long. Then, number three, we are going to talk about how much. 
And in this case, it's with countable nouns. Because we have two different, I mean, we have how many with the countable nouns and we have how much with the uncountable nouns. So we are going to see the both of them, uh, how many and how much, and we are going to see the example. Because in that case, we are talking about um, quantity, but in different like um, with countable and uncountable nouns. So we are going to see it together and we are going to see the examples. First, we're going to read the example. So in this case, we have much for the uncountable nouns, or in this case, for like ideas or in uh, things that we cannot touch. That in that case, they are like abstract ideas or something like that, or things that have a different a kind of um, system in this case, because we have money, but money has a different system. So in this case, it's an uncountable noun. And we have the example. How much money do you have? How much trouble did it cost? How much tea would you like? How much time do you have? And how much fun do you have? So in that case, it's for abstract ideas or uh, things that have a different a kind of system in which we can count in a different way. So in this case, uncountable noun. Now we're going to see the examples with how many that in this case are countable noun or things that are physically countable. So in that case, we are going to see the examples.
So in this case, when we're talking about countable nouns, and you can see the first one, the first example is talking about how many websites do you have? So maybe you think that in that case is something that we cannot touch, but in that case, we are talking about the, the site. And in that case, we can count how many sites we have in, in for example, on internet. So in that case, it's, we cannot touch that website, but we can count how many of them we have. Así que en ese caso no sería algo eh, incontable porque estamos eh, hablando específicamente de cuántos sitios se tienen. No lo podemos contar eh, físicamente, o sea, tocarlo físicamente, pero sí podemos decir que tenemos una cantidad en específico. No es como que estemos preguntando cuántas estrellas hay. That is very different because in that case we are not going to end counting the stars. But in this case, we have just seven websites. And in the other one, in how many Facebook friends do you have? We are like counting people. Maybe in some cases we have like bots in, in, in that case or accounts that are not like um, from an individual. But in that case, we are like making an idea about how many people that we have on Facebook. So in that case, it is not like talking about just an abstract idea. You are talking about people. Then we have how many cuts do you have and how many tickets do you buy? And in this case, it's talking about like uh, tickets on internet or uh, in this case, virtual tickets or tickets in physical. So in that case, both of them are valid in this case because you have like an amount, an, a specific amount of things that you are going to have in your power. So in that case, it is valid for both a uh, type of tickets. Now we are going to see how in adjectives and how can we create uh, questions with how and with adjectives also. So we are going to see some examples of how and adjectives. Then we are going to see how can we uh, answer those questions with how and then we are going to see the example because we have just 10 minutes to end the session so we are going to see the examples with question with how an adjective um, how to uh, answer those questions and the examples of discussion questions so let me write the examples
So here we have the examples. And in the first part, the adjectives, um, I mean, the uh, how with adjectives, we have some examples. Number one, how well do you know Maria? In this case, the adjective is next to the how. So in this case, we are going to uh, find it together. How well do you know Maria? How quickly can you finish your homework? And in this case, it's like modifying us because it's asking um, how quickly can we do something? Then we have how fast are you? And how spicy is the food? En este caso, cuando utilicemos el how con los adjetivos, vamos a utilizar el adjetivo inmediatamente después de how. Then with the, the question and answers, we have how old are you? That is a very common question. And we are going to answer that question with, I am the number years old. I am 10 years old. I am 20 years old. I am 14 years old and all of that things. How tall are you? In this case, in, I think it's very common for the English language that they use feet, but in our cases, we, we use like meters, but uh, we can change that form when we are um, responding or answering that question, but they use feet as the way they talk about the, and the length or something like that. So how tall are you? And uh, the answer is, I am almost seven feet. Then how are you? That is a very, very common question. And we can answer in a different way. I am fine, I'm good, pretty good, bad, sad, and all of the things that we can add in that question. And the number four, how much does the headphones cost? And we can also answer in different ways. So we have the example. They cost around $20. So in that case, we have like the most general information about the how and different uses that we can give to those questions. And I'm going to end the session because we have four minutes writing the example for the discussion a question. So here you have some question that you can use in a discussion, but we are not talking about something bad. We are talking about a meeting and you need some question to um, like begin a conversation or like you can use these questions to make an activity in which you need your uh, participants to talk. So we're going to see what are these questions.
So here we have the examples and just, we are just going to read them because it's time to end the session. So we have different kinds of questions. They are like different topics that we can touch with this kind of question. And we have the number one, how can you make money online? How can you make money from home? How many people do you know that can speak English? How long have you been learning English? How many people do you know that can speak Chinese? How many beers can you, how many beers can you drink in one night? How many days can you go without eating? How fast can you run? How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? And how much money do you have in your wallet? So in that case, you can find that we have different kind of questions with how. So we are done with this session and we are done with week number three. So we are going to end the session here and we are going to see each other on Monday. So have a really good night and a great, great, great evening. So let's see on Monday. Goodbye and good night. Goodbye, good night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.